Good morning, everybody. Today is going to be so much fun because we are going to make strawberry jam that you make with figs. Now, my mother-in-law, here is the recipe. Let's see if y'all can see it. My mother-in-law made this all the time because they had fig trees. I don't. <laughs> so I... Very, this is actually the first time I've ever made it. I say I've very seldom made it. I've never made it before. But I always just loved it. And so um, I'm going to show you all how to make it. Actually, I found some figs that were fresh at my local um, grocery. And so, and they, you know, sometimes they'll have just a few in a, a little container. But they, these had a little more. So I thought, well... I don't, I can't make the full recipe, but I can make some. So I'm going to show you first, you just cut the stems off. And then you need to mash your figs. I just, I actually kind of cut them in fours. Y'all, we are having a little party over here this morning. It's going to be biscuits and ham. And uh, I love to do these little get togethers just to keep everybody connected and so anyway, everything's, I've got to do it over here because my, <laughs> my island is uh, full of things for the party. But anyway, you just mash the figs like you, or like you mash potatoes in a bowl, but I like to use um, a cutting board. So mash them, mash them, and they look um, like mashed figs. <laughs> and mash them the best that you can, and um, then it'll be delicious. Now, I've already made some. I'm going to show it to you in a little bit. But um, then you then, then this is the best part about it. It's so easy. Then you put your figs in. You put all of your ingredients in your saucepan. So I have some mashed figs here. A box of strawberry jello. That's why they call it strawberry jam, because you use strawberry jello. Some sugar. And the sure gel that you use to make jelly. Now, Miss Carter had, you know, where she make jars and jars and keep it, you keep it in your fridge. And, uh, oh my gosh, we just absolutely loved it. Now, that's all you use. Look at it. It's really pretty. It turns red right away because of the strawberry jelly. And it actually makes just a beautiful um, red jelly or jam. It is very thick. Um, but, oh, my goodness, whenever it was fig season, she would make this. Of course, we had it for a while because she would make it and, and keep it. And um, so we always just loved it. All right, so here it is. Now I'm going to cook it down for 45 minutes. I'm going to let it come up to temperature, which means that maybe a very slow boil because you've got this uh, gelatin mixture in here and you want it to melt. So I'm going to let it come up to that and then I'm going to cut it down and let it cook for 45 minutes and it just cooks down and then I'll show you how delicious it is. Okay. Hello, video. A video? Okay, well, we're going to do our video, okay? Okay, where are you from? <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh. Or the spoon. Or that. It's a little spreader. He likes when he can see himself on the video. So oh, right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, you know what, Nika? This morning I made this recipe that was Poppy's grandmother's recipe. And it's called strawberry jam. But guess what? Can you smell it? Doesn't it smell delicious? Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> but you make it with figs. Let's cut it. Okay. Well, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So we're going to put it. So we cooked it down for 45 minutes. And I've already shown everybody all the ingredients. And I showed them whenever I was putting it in the saucepan. And then I, I cooked it down for 45 minutes. And it's made with figs, but it tastes like strawberries because you use strawberry jello in the recipe. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. And so whenever Poppy was a little boy, they would always have this on biscuits. Isn't that fun? So we're, Can I it now? Yeah. 
I'm gonna show you. I made us some toes. So we. My cut it. You can you spread a little bit on this. Dip it. You me show you. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you get the spreader and you take just a little bit and you spread it on your toast. <gasps> Yummy. And I do it too. Yes, do it. There you go. Turn it over. There you go. And it's real important whenever you're spreading jelly on toast with some more mm -hmm. or mayonnaise or whatever you put on a sandwich to spread it to all the corners so that every bite you'll have a taste of whatever you're putting on it. <laughs> Thank you for helping me. Did you tell everybody good morning? Good morning. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> okay. Sure, our spread for our biscuit, ham and biscuit party. Mmm, <laughs> it's good because it's still warm. Oh my goodness, it's good. Now you want a little spoon to taste it? Mm. Or you want to taste take a bite of the toast? We're gonna make some biscuits too. Bite of the toast. Okay. Good. Now give me toast. Well here it is. <laughs> Please. Please have uh, not the jelly. I need a one toast. <laughs> <laughs> one toast with no jelly. Okay, well we'll make some toast with jelly. But I'm gonna taste this, okay? okay. You wanna taste it with a little spoon? Just taste it out of the jar? Mm -mm. It's really it. yummy. It tastes it like is. candy. It does taste like candy. I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, here is our okay, strawberry jam made with figs. Bon appetit, y'all. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Mmm. Want to taste it? No. <laughs> Of us. A picture. A picture. One, two, three, smile. <laughs> <laughs>